Y'all, it's Betsy and my mom from Happily Ever After, etc. And we are back with another gardening project. So we're just gardening all day today. We've already transplanted all of the pink Proven Winter Super Tunia Vista Bubblegum and the Gumfrina this morning. We planted mom's Peggy Martin Climbing Rose. And now, sorry y'all, camera cut out. So as I was saying, and now we are going to be adding in some yellow so we've done a lot of pink we've done the climbing rose today we are going to be planting all of the yellow so starting we have these day lilies up front and what did you say mom they get about 10 to 12 inches high for the foliage and the flowers get about 18 maybe at the max above the foliage so they're a decent middle of the border to front of the border they're one of mom's favorite flowers, so she's gonna put two on either side of the arbor. It'll frame it really nicely. And they um, they spread, so they're perennials. They'll come back year after year. They bloom all season long. Um, Day lilies, of course, like the name, they bloom in a day, then they go away, but they just keep repeat blooming all season long. Yeah, this particular variety. Yes, a lot. So different types are different, but what kind is this? Well, I'm hoping this is the Stella Doro. Yes. This so like. we got these. Mom got them fifty percent off on sale. She was very excited, but they just say gold. But Mom is a daylily connoisseur. I have quite a few daylilies. She loves them, so she thinks they are. I think they're Stella Doros because I have some in the back, and they look very similar. Um, my grandmother uh, was bought daylilies. So I have some of her daylilies that um, I transplanted from her yard in Louisiana. And then I've added to them, of course, in the over the years. So we're going to plant two on either side. And then we've got eight more to go in front of the house to make a bigger drift. But that will be perfect for the daylilies. And then right over here... Mom set out these three cone flowers. So these will bloom 18 to 20 inches tall. They are also repeat bloomers, but cone flowers will keep their blooms much longer than the daylilies. So these blooms will stay on the plant for at least a couple weeks, usually. quite a while. So we've got three back here behind the Super Tunia Vista that'll give us a medium layer. She'll probably come in at some point and do a tall layer behind it. And then two over here. So what do you think over there, Mom? Oh, no. Oh, hard. We have this spot here, but that's really close to the yellow. So I put them all the way down here. Thank you. 
Now, do you want to pick two spots for Rantana, or are you just going to start planting this? And I want to plant these. Let's go I ahead and get these planted, and then we'll... We may not do Lantana today, because she might do some Lantana up front. It's hard to say. Yeah. In the bed. Yeah. Alright, so for now, daylilies and coneflowers, that'll add some nice pop together. Let's get to it. Okay, hey, y'all, we also decided we've got our two daylilies here. Mom remembered she has these three hookara to plant as well. So these are coral bells. They get 10 to 12 tall, and they need to be 12 to 14 apart. They are a foliage plant, and they prefer a bit of morning sun and afternoon shade. So they should get plenty of shade from these trees right here. Um, and they'll give us another different pop of color. The other advantage is that mom likes to plant, this is what I do with my lambs here, I learned it from her, um, iris and foxglove and things amongst foliage plants like this so that in the spring, she'll have a whole bank of pretty iris and foxgloves probably from here all the way up front. And then, as the season progresses and those iris die back, the foliage will be coming out and then they'll die back under these leaves and these will take over. And so it'll be a really pretty progression from iris and fox love all spring, they'll die back and these hookra will come up and be the star of the show for the rest of the summer and into fall because they will stay through fall. So we're going to go ahead and get started down in the shade, planting the coneflowers and we'll work our way over with the daylilies then the hookra, and then over to the other coneflowers. Mom decided she wanted them um, here on either side of this super tunia. And then we've got the one, two, three gumfrinas. So it'll be a midi pretty mix of colors over here. And she cut back the gumfrina since you saw them a minute ago because they were just, they were just wilty. We just planted them this morning. So we're going to go ahead and get all of this in the ground. You ready, Mom? Ready. Let's go. Okay, so before we get started, we have one more addition. Mom also has these three Veronica, just like mine. And we know from planting mine that they are definitely shade-loving plants. We knew that before we planted them. They are a speedwell, which is a type of Veronica. Um, and they're beautiful, but they just, it's very hot down here. We are on the very edge of heat tolerance that they can handle. So we're going to plant them around this bird bath. They'll be a nice tall back layer. They are a perennial. The rows will compete with them a little bit, but not from every angle. You'll be able to see them from most angles and they'll be really shaded right here. So we're going to go ahead and plant those as well. Mom's already started digging the spots for the coneflowers. So we're just going to keep moving down the road. And if you are wondering why we started with two plants and we're now planting four, it's because as mom finds things she likes, she buys them. But we have been kind of waiting for the giant heat wave we had. We were having temperatures of 104, 105. So we, we've been waiting for those temperatures to be over to plant everything. So she's got quite a few things just, yeah, waiting to be planted that she's bought on sale or that she liked. And now that the heat wave's over and we're about to have a week of rain, we're trying to get as much of it in the ground as possible. So I'm going to stop pulling plants out and actually start planting. Let's go.
All right, so on this side, we still have quite a few things. These are all things to plant. Doot, 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 doot. If you saw the video where we took everything out of this magnolia bed, because that magnolia tree's coming down. So most of this will go back over there once that tree comes out next week. So we've got almost all the same things here for over there because mom doesn't want everything to be symmetrical, but she does like repetition. So we planted the three cone flowers. Earlier today, we planted all of these. So I'll link that video down below. Then we've got the three Veronica. So we've got a blue hydrangea here, blue Veronica here, blue dirty mom on the bench and the blue vitex right here so blue 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 it does but th that'll be nice we've got our day lilies framing the arbor that's very nice thanks mom she's killing it she's very dirty I'm filthy too. Yeah. We've got our nice little hookera. Oh, 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 damn it. There was a <laughs> there's a mosquito on my finger. I think this pop of color is really nice. I think that was a good idea. The red on the roses, the new growth. We'll anchor that and then right past mom's phone on the tripod. You can't tell, but right here is this tiny Japanese maple. And so that will eventually grow up and be a, a focal point tree. And it has that same color on all of its new growth. So that will be nice. Right. So there's quite a bit of red blooms through here in the spring. And we've still got to cardboard this whole area. Took out... All of this monkey grass that was here. Still got to take out all these weeds. Cardboard. So, I mean, we're not done. But, you know, a little bit at a time. So, the hookah, that's a nice pop of color. And then we finished it out. Decided just to switch them. So, we moved the gumfrina that was here right over. So, we've got a swath of gumfrina here. And then the two yellow cone flowers. And I think that's a better combination yeah, like around that rose so everything looks really good you like it mom i, I do i like it i think once we um speak up dress it up with compost it will be really nice and we can do it with yeah more. it'll be really pretty once we get That's the compost be a nice little, um, resin top put on there yeah mm -hmm. That's my thing. so all right, y'all. It is going to rain. It's going to rain any second now, which is good. It will water all of this in really well, but we are going to go inside and get cleaned up. I might take a shower out here. <laughs> Mom might just take a shower outside. Um, I don't recommend that. I'm going to take a shower at my house, and then we're going to go to the movies. So we'll see y'all later. Bye.